Today is that day, like where <laughs> I started my period on Saturday, like in the evening, and then yesterday was Sunday, so I had like my first day, and it was very much a first day, like the bloat was crazy, I was just not okay, but this morning the fatigue that I'm experiencing is making me question so many things in my life, like First of all, I was supposed to go to the ice store in Santin to take my laptop so that they can repair it. Like, they told me to go there. Apparently, it's only there where they can help me with what I need. And I was like, you know what? I'm actually not even going to do it because I, I, I can't even afford to not have my laptop anyway. So I'm just going to roll with the punches right now. Um... And just keep using my laptop i'm not even gonna take it in for repairs but it'll be fine because even if i do take it in for repairs i can't afford to lose my laptop they said to assess it will take three to five days and then they didn't even tell me how long it would take to actually repair it so that could be like three to four uh two to three weeks if that i don't have time for that but yeah today i was supposed to do that and then figure out what else I wanted to do. I did want to clean up my house as well. Not, It's not super dirty, but I did just want to sweep, mop, you know, that type of thing. I'm even giving myself a pat on the back for getting out of bed. I don't have anything to do via work. So, you know, that's good. But 
I did what I could for the day. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I did what I could. I'm going to sleep after here. What did Monica say? Just one of those days? It's just one of those days, babes. Like I write five to ten things that I'm grateful for, and then after that I do my affirmations, and then after that I can stop with my day. So that's what I'm about to do right now. <laughs> I was just exhausted. I didn't know why I was so tired. Like I was so tired. I want to go watch this show on Showmax called Twice as Bold. I started it on Friday. I don't know if it's new or if it's old. Doesn't look new, but it's really nice. These twin women. They're identical twins and literally when you watch them it, it seems like you're watching somebody talk to like the voice in their head. It's so cool. It's so cool. Like twin dynamic is so cool. But yeah. They're going through a lot right now. 
the whole storyline is basically these women they were married to one man they just they have that twin dynamic i know some twins they want to marry twins it just depends you know they're, they're all different so with them they just knew that they wanted to marry one guy and they did they had a baby girl each like one of them had their their daughter like two months after the other so they they have they've made their own twins basically because they the twins share a dad yeah so yeah they, then they got divorced to that man and they're like trying to you know figure this out they're super funny i love them they're hilarious but yeah it's just a it's an interesting twin dynamic but they're also like baddies so they're also looking for like a a man they're looking for a, a provider okay so that's also part of the storyline and then another part of their storyline is their relationship that they have with their mom like they were basically raised to him like they had that family dynamic where the mom had them young and then the mom kind of gave them to their grandmother so their grandmother was their mom and she was their like sister or aunt basically so now that the grandmother has passed away the dynamic now is they're trying to figure out how they feel how they are with their mom and it's just like whew. yeah i know you can see it in their faces like when they interact with their mom that it's just tough bro it's 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 a tough one because that dynamic is not the first i've heard there's a lot of people who basically were raised by their grandmother but it looks like a hectic one and what i mean by that is as somebody who's viewing the dynamic where you're trying to figure out your relationship with your mom if your grandmother raised you looks tricky 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 and the mom keeps saying like super super like triggering stuff like she's basically saying first of all the mom is unresponsive when the ladies try to speak to her like she's just one of those people that gets angry and keeps quiet and that's the opposite of what these girls need right now like they need answers they need answers but also like they need comforting so yeah no the, the, like that lady literally she'll she'll get upset at what they're saying right first of all watch it but you know i'm not gonna give any spoilers but it's just what i've noticed they'll come at her about an issue and then the more quiet she gets the lower they the lower they blow at her in response so the lower the comments get the lower the complaints get the more rude but also so true like it's so true and yeah she keeps quiet and then obviously they get lower she gets angrier but still quiet and then at the end she'll just say some <laughs> some other shit like she'll just she basically says like everybody knows your first child goes to your mom dude that's literally what she's saying to her daughters. She's like, hi guys. Everybody knows that when your first child goes to your mom. What was I supposed to do? Not get married? Like... And then the thing about it is, these, when they start like speaking to her about these things, um, they just say like, the thing that hurts the most is that we've seen you raise uh, like our siblings. Like you have kids with this man and we've seen you be more of a mom to those kids. And it just hurts and she'll keep quiet and she'll be like so what was i supposed to do not get married oh. so anyway i'm like on episode five i don't know if there's more seasons or what i'll check there's this episode where they say there's this episode where they say to their mom um so basically you have nothing to say when we throw ourselves at older men for money like you keep quiet you don't you just you actually don't care and she literally kept quiet she, she just looked at them she just, <laughs> she just looked at them bro the way that i'm looking at her she's in the middle of 
genuinely not caring but also a small level of guilt but like if they could shut up about it she would be so happy like she would <laughs> yeah like women brown mm -mm. Mm -mm. no i can't hey i can't i can't imagine having a problem with your parent and just being met with like that hectic <laughs> I'm going to to this i to i i Good morning guys. Today is Tuesday. Ne? Um it's my best friend's birthday today. But I'm gonna be seeing him on Saturday. I am actually getting ready to go to an event. I had I'm gonna lie, I had forgotten about this. Uh, but yesterday my manager was asking me about another event and then she was like Kana you're going to the one tomorrow and I don't remember what it was that made me not write it on my calendar I think it's the fact that it's it's my best friend's birthday today I think that's the reason why I didn't write it on my calendar I think I thought something might happen but instead we're doing something on Saturday so it's fine what I'm going to do now is get ready for this event it's an event with Essie, the nail polish brand. I had done a really cute campaign with them earlier on this year. But today it's an event in collaboration with Krispy Kreme, the donut company in Rosebank. So that's where we're going. I'm not too sure what's going to, you know, be the vibes, but I'm excited anyway. I love getting ready for events they're super cute kenzo's been licking my leg he loves to lick my leg after i bath like he likes licking the lotion off of my legs good morning good morning hi say hi monkey monkey say hello you want me to hold you and i'm doing my face i can't baby i just took a shower and i'm doing my face and you're going to disturb me? That is crazy, man. But we were snuggling in the morning, Hibo. We were cuddling. You don't want to stop cuddling. We must cuddle forever. I also want to cuddle forever, Bobby. Yo, 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 yo. Kill you. Am I going to have lotion left? Leave my leg alone. Leave my leg alone. Leave my leg alone. Leave my so yeah that's what we're doing we're getting ready to go to a cute event and fingers crossed the people that are there can take my picture because i haven't taken a picture for the gram with this hair so i'm ready to debut the cornrows okay so yeah let me get ready i'm going to actually watch gina gina posted a video that way gina posted a video so i'm going to watch that while i do my makeup also we below uploaded a vlog so i've got some entertainment that i can watch while i get ready let's get this party started it's it's 10 the event starts at 12 but i want to record a video before i leave so, I also don't have like lashes. I completely forgot that I don't have lashes. So, I really need to go get some. But today's gonna be a no lash look by default. I get one. I get one. How? 
Why are you in the curtain? Why are you in the curtain? Eh, 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 eh. So I have to explain now. Why, why are you in the curtain? Hey guys, I am done with my makeup. Uh, okay. <laughs> I did a very simple beat, like super simple. And I think that it's very appropriate for just the vibe, the vibe. The vibe is very chill and simple. And that was really quick. It is 10 minutes until 11. So I'm gonna go record this video and I will see you guys um, when we make our way to the event. Okie dokie. I am done getting dressed and recording my video. So, okay. Roberto Cavalli exquisite nectar. I'm going to an event, so I am over spring. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm trying to smell me. Okay. Um, for my handbag, I'm going to take Kayali uh, Elixir. I'll just take it for my handbag just for a little fa fa. When I'm there. Okay, so this is the fit, guys. I went with my cardigan from HM, jeans from HM, shoes from Shein, bag from Gallus Boy. So this is what we're giving. I'm loving the the gold. That's what I'm loving. I'm doing pretty okay on time. I'm Ready to go, actually. So yeah, this is what we are wearing. Very, very cute. Loving the color. What I want to work on the most in my wardrobe are tops. Like, I, I feel like I don't have any tops. 
I feel like with jeans, pants, you can always make a plan, especially if you've got a capsule wardrobe, but with the tops, I want to pop out, you know? I want to pop out with the top. So, yeah, this is cute. I hope that I can find, or people that are going to be there are going to be girdies that can take my pick. What are we giving for the pose? Let me see. <laughs> I love to just test out the poses, you know? What are we thinking for pose? Are we thinking full body pick? Oh, this is cute. Yeah, that's cute. I don't know. We'll see the setup also, but it's going to be a Krispy Kreme. So, I don't think that it's going to be cute. But the rest of the mall is not bad, you know? It's rose back at the end of the day. So we can always just, yes, we can always give a little. So yeah, let me go, guys. I did want to take my other nude bag, the one that looks like spaghetti strings. I did, but I had to be realistic. I'm vlogging. So yeah, that's just not an event bag. That's a date night dinner with the girls bag. I just need to be BFFR. I need to be for real about that bag. So yeah, let me get this Uber, guys. And I will see you at the event. everyone you guys are stunning i love all the colors so i'm just going to take you guys through the different activations so we've got off tropic which every activation was inspired by each ac shade so the first one there by the corner as you can see it's more of like a vacation vibe you're going out you're going for a relaxing mode so it's more of like an off tropic you're enjoying your donuts by the beach then we've got home by eight as you can see with Loa. She just arrived at 8 o'clock at home. She wants to take a bubble bath, enjoying her Etsy donut, just showing off her Etsy nails. Just looking cute, you know? Then we've got Snooze In. 
which stays in is more like it's a lazy day, you just woke up, you just want to chill by the couch, enjoy your coffee and some donuts as well. Then if you go outside, we've got the nail bar. Obviously our invite bedroom has come with fresh nails. So I hope you guys are actually gonna like enjoy and paint your nails with the easy colors. So we've got the nail bar there. Then we've got the claw machine for some more goodies. I hope maybe someone has already won. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. Then the last section, we've got the DIY station of the donuts. So basically, what you want to do, what you need to do, is choose your favorite shade between the three. Then you dip your donuts and then enjoy. Go. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hello, monkey, Hello, Yena. All right, I am back. It is currently half past two. Very cute event. Super cute. I um, made myself a donut. Where's my donut? Okay. <laughs> I did my own little donut. Um, I was trying to get a, a nail polish from the drop down thingy, but I had three chances I couldn't get it. It kept slipping, and also the ball is made out of plastic. The clamp is made out of metal. So I feel like it made it slip. But anyway, this is my <laughs> my um, chocolate covered donut. Let's do an unboxing of the goodie bag. Let's just show what's in here oh there's a thingy see i knew oh okay there's a whole water bottle here it's a crispy cream water bottle um so basically what we were celebrating is crispy cream and essie's collaboration they collabed and yeah that's what we were here it is the inspired by your fave essie shades so there's the brown one the peachy pink one and then there's the green and yeah let's open them and see so i think you're going to be able to like buy this like here they are i don't want to flip too much because you know i don't want them to fall but yeah that's cool so yeah you can get a three pack and they'll be in the essie colors because they're actual essie shades and then here are what's this oh what's this is it just a tag i think this is just a keychain and then we've got this is a apricot nail and cuticle oil which i will definitely be using because i love a good cuticle oil does it smell like apricot that would be cool let's see yes that's so cool okay i'm gonna keep this in my uh lounge 
and then we've got all these essay nail colors over here i'm gonna add these to the goodie bag that's um here for comment of the vlog but yeah there's like different ones so it's these three that are part of the collab it's these three so yeah and i've got like a little bag now but that's what's in the goodie bag guys oh i'm so tired but today was a good day i did end up going into the mall for a little bit i walked to h&m but i was like dude you're wearing heels like let's let's stop doing this <laughs> let's go home so i'm back home i'm gonna just edit and do what i need to do i think i might need to go to the mall tomorrow because um i'm gonna meet up with mbali after my brunch with my friend so I might need like a little cute outfit but i don't know what today was pretty warm guys like outside was pretty warm i thought i was gonna be cold because i'm just wearing like a sports bra underneath this i'm not wearing anything because of the v-neck so i was like oh no but it was not it was not cold at all i do think that at night it still gets super super cold winter's definitely not gone but midday it's pretty cool it's fine like it's not it's not that deep you know so for my brunch with londi i can wear one thing and then for later on when we link with mbali then i think that's going to be like a different outfit that's the outfit that i want to go to the mall for because i really don't know what i want to wear if i'm being very very honest i do want to just take another picture for another brand but other than that girl i've had a good day mm. hey guys what's up today is thursday wednesday today's women's day today's wednesday and we've got some plans i just hopped out the shower and now i want to do my skincare before i do my makeup but today i actually want to take the time to shave my face yesterday i exfoliated because i didn't want to exfoliate and then shave my face on the same day so since i know that my nose is not clogged up or anything i even exfoliated here because this place and like my nose that's where my pores get super big so now that that's exfoliated i can actually take the time to shave my face and i wanted to do it with, with you guys and i wanted to do it with you guys with the very first time i ever shaved my face i actually went somewhere to professionally get it done but then i saw a video by jackie aina where she was doing it herself and i was like oh my gosh yeah i feel like i can trust myself especially because i wasn't sure if you do it after your skincare or before and she was like no just do it um with your face dry so i was like okay cool that sounds so much easier because i feel like you're going to be able to tell but let me get a little bit of tissue because when i first got uh derma planning which is what it's called i saw that she was using tissue to kind of wipe off the residue so i'm gonna put some here and this is a brand new razor jackie says that every single time she does it she uses a new one so let's get into it girl i'm not sure the main thing that i want is just for me to feel like my skin isn't dull anymore i think i've got peach fuzz but the peach fuzz is kind of making me look dry i just yeah and then around my lips i feel like there is some peach fuzz every time i lick my lips i can feel it the main place that i really want to do is the top of my lips or around my mouth um and then just like yeah you know like i'm nervous but let's do it like so she does like pull her skin when she does it and i'm gonna be so gentle oh my god i'm so scared i don't know why this scares me i can feel something happening there's a little bit of hair Oh my gosh, I'm actually doing it. 
I'm gonna try not go over the same area too much because because I saw Kyra said she actually like fucked her skin up when she tried doing it herself, which is kind of also why I've just been nervous. I'm scared of fucking like myself up. I can see it. Because when I look underneath, see, I really hope it's going to be able to show you. Can you see anything? <laughs> I hope you can see. There's like these tiny, tiny black hairs. Very, very small. When I look up at myself, like, I just see... Have you ever seen, like, the hair that's on... Like Ibenji, you see? That whitish hair that's on a fuzzy peach. That's how I feel like my skin looks to me. Okay, I'm doing too much there. Ooh, I kind of feel it. Shit. I'm literally just gliding this thing on my face. Okay. Yeah, see, there we go. That should be enough. Okay. I don't want to burn when I put on serum and stuff, so. Let's actually just do my skincare together. Considering the fact that I'm going to put my makeup on after here. Okay, so for toner. I'm going to go in with my toner. I do want to record like a daytime a skincare routine for you so i'll have all the details and stuff like that in that video but first i just want to go in with the toner and i don't think i'm going to do every single step right now mm. my face is tingling a little bit not too much but there is a tingle <laughs> okay and then i'm going to go in with some hyaluronic acid Quickly, quickly before my skin dries out. Just a squeeze of hyaluronic acid. So we stay you underneath the makeup. And then we're gonna go in with the Lancome Genifique. We're gonna use that as one of our serums today. I do want to use three serums today. I know that's a lot, but can you see that? yeah i don't want her to leave a mark so yeah then i'm gonna go in with this correcting serum from kiehl's this is really nice when you've got a breakout or a pimple or whatever that you're trying to make sure doesn't turn dark or if you have darkness and you're trying to lighten that darkness up and I know that this says PM, but this from Cerave, the PM one, this is the facial moisturizing lotion. This is so nice. The texture is so nice. Hold dry skin. Okay, so I am done getting ready. I even took the TikTok that I wanted to on my outfit. You guys have seen this top before. Let me just quickly... Let me just quickly show you my outfit because I'm a little bit, well, I'm not late. Honestly, I should have made reservations. I did not. Uh, I don't. Let me put you low so you can see the fit at least. I should have made reservations. I didn't because it's Uko, man. Like, Uko is literally in the middle of the mall. It should be fine. I am wearing this top that you guys have seen. I wore it to the Ganya event, got it from Superbless. I'm wearing it again because I didn't get a pick, okay? But I'm wearing a top underneath just to keep me cold, um, just to keep me warm because I'm not taking a jacket and it keeps fucking peeking through. I wish I had those things. What, what, what are those things that our grandmothers had? They keep the top like this. What are they called and where do they get them? I need to ask my grandmother immediately. I think they're called armbands or something like that. I need armbands. 
because I just think it looks so cool styled like this, right? Um, yeah, anyway, got this from Superbulist, wearing it again because I need a pig and yeah, and then I got these wide leg pants from Shein and the shoes are also, well, the, the same shoes from yesterday, it's just they're in black. These are from Shein too. Bag is by Colette Heyman. And yeah, I just styled it with some gold jewelry. One thing about me, I'm gonna dress like I'm going to work. Like, <laughs> I feel like part of my calling is like being a corporate baddie because I just love the look. Like, I just love the look. I obviously do not wanna work corporate, but my style i'd be killing them honestly <laughs> i would be killing them i absolutely love the corporate look it's just one of the you know how you've got different fashion personalities i feel like corporate baggy is one of mine but yeah these are cute i can't wait to get this pick baby um just because i also feel like it's going to start getting warmer and this top is not going to make sense anymore so yeah for scent I feel like I'm yelling. Am I yelling? Um, for scent, I'm actually gonna take it because I wanna put it in my bag. But for scent, we are doing MFK's Food Satin Mood. If you watched my fragrance video, um, if you didn't, I'll link it. But if you watched it, I did say that this is a really nice winter girl's night scent. Ooh, that smells really good. And that's exactly what's happening today later on we are going out out so did i just fuck up my top you better dry you better dry bitch but yeah Ooh. i've been over spraying these days i did get a few compliments yesterday from my scent so okay so oud mood is going in my bag i'm also going to take a powder puff Londi asked for setting spray. I just want to get out of the house. I'm also so hungry. I'm going to take my power bank because I've got a biggish bag. And the cord as well as the lipstick that I'm wearing. I should also take a mirror. Where is my mirror? Friend. Yeah, I just got inside. Um, wait for me. Wait at the door for me. I want us to start with pictures. Okay, sharp. Sorry, guys. Okay. Blondie should be somewhere here. Friend. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Not the same hairstyle, sis. <laughs> that side. Hi, Bo. It's so full. Oh my god. My thing is, it's so full, and I didn't make a reservation because I was like, it's in the mall. Like, who cares? I think there is like open table because that was table four. Yeah.
guys, I just want to get this in before we get into the music. But we've arrived at Mbali's branch, baby. It's so cute. <laughs> I can't, it's adorable. I can't, Sanbunani. Mishani. Oh my goodness, you guys. Thank you to everyone who's here. You guys look absolutely amazing. The ladies that were here earlier already heard my voice, so I'm going to be very short. This was not going to be possible without this lovely lady over here, Billy. Hey, Billy. <laughs> so all the girlies are looking clean, but they are looking beautiful. Guys, um, I'm not going to speak for long because I'm just going to cry. Like, I'm overwhelmed. I literally was okay with just three people being here but this is amazing and i can see that more people are still coming i just want to say that by coming today you have empowered me so much you have affirmed me you have validated me and it's a representation that women do support each other and women do like each other because there's this narrative that women don't support each other we don't like each other but there's so many beautiful ladies conversation is flowing People who don't even know each other are sitting together, they're getting to know each other. This is a party, we are about to get down. If you guys see me taking off my shoes and dancing, <laughs> please enjoy me. Let's get it. Everyone dance, have fun, the space is safe. That's what I wanted, so don't feel shy that someone is gonna catch you looking drunk or otherwise. Please fix each other's crowns. If you see another lady's hair, a bird, you know, if you see my hair. Um, have fun guys, the night is still young. Um, please don't leave without making yourself a little bouquet to put it in your house. I love flowers. Take a balloon if you want to as well. Aww. But have fun. And the food is coming. Um, we're going to eat. So I'm not just feeding you alcohol on an empty stomach. I am. I am though. Um, but yeah, guys, just have a fun time. The space is beautiful like you guys. Let's have fun. Let's, let's enjoy our Women's Day. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bark, you're going to go uh, get your grooming, baby. Hey, 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 good in it, yo. Because you're going outside. You are going outside. Good in it, yo. Homa, swear. Dimelang. Come, Ken. Come. I want to show you guys what I got from Superbless. Everything is still. There. Grooming time for Kenny. You running away? I'm sure the eagle is coming. Yeah. Can you go go get grooming? Grooming time for Kenny. Kenny. Come, Kenzo. Come, Bombay. Come. Come, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're not cutting, Kenzo, you're not cutting your hair. You're just washing. You're just washing. Come. Just washing, baby. <laughs> Come. Just washing. Come, baby. I got food in the It's a shame, man. I did try to give Kenzo a bit of a break from grooming. Also, it's winter, 
I don't need, I don't want him to cut, cut his hair. But he does still need to like, you know, I think what he doesn't like about grooming is the fact that they cut his nails. But they need to cut his nails. Like, Kenzo will greet you by like scratching up on you. And I know like he's trying to be endearing and whatever. But his nails are long. Like, his nails are long and they grow so fast. So, they need to get cut. Do you get me? So... He does not like that. But anyway, guys, he is busy getting groomed downstairs. They don't take very long. Um, I think max 10 minutes. So it's really not that deep, especially because he's not getting a super crazy cut or anything. Yesterday was yesterday. Wow. I got home, Gabo 12. I saw, I texted Londi that I'm home at around like 20 minutes past 12. So it wasn't a long night, but... I did not eat enough for, <laughs> I really did not eat enough for, um, the pivs that were happening. So, like, for how I was feeling in the morning, I was like, wait, man, like, this doesn't make sense. But then I was like, oh, wait, we didn't get to eat at Uko. Like, Uko was packed. I get it. I didn't make a reservation. I completely understand, right? But... I'm sitting at the bar with my friends and we had to order the same drink like three times. They had to come to us three times to ask us what did we order. And it was like, guys, how is it taking 40 minutes to make a cocktail? Like, that's so crazy. So the service wasn't great at Uko, so we didn't end up eating. It took us... The, the amount of time that we had dedicated to eating at Uko, it took us that amount of time to just get our drink. So, yeah, I ended up not eating at Uko. I went to room 13 and there was like a platter. I didn't end up eating like a lot um, there because I had already... I had already had my first drink and one thing about me alcohol makes me like it does not make me hungry like I can't eat if I'm drinking do you get me so I ended up not even being hungry but eating or oh, drinking on an empty stomach so it wasn't great but I had a good time I did got home and everything but I'm ready to like be in the house again <laughs> Yo, oh, that generator is making noise. But yeah, that means they've started washing him now. So yeah, I'm really tired. I woke up in the morning. I took a shower, brushed my teeth. And I got some chicken licking. I got some wings. And I'm thirsty, very, very much dehydrated. I wanted to actually order juice from that app, Zolzi. Have you guys seen that app? It's like a grocery delivery app. Um, I think it's like it takes 15 minutes to get your groceries. So I was like, okay, I really want juice. Like I want apple juice. I saw on Zulzi they've got Tropica and Tropica is my shit. Like Tropica, I think the red Tropica is honestly, mwah, chef's kiss. Good job, you know. I really want to give you your dab right now. But I think the only big one that they've got is the pineapple one. So... I don't mind the pineapple one. It's so good to me. So I'll get that. I'll get apple juice and I'll get Tropica. And I'm feeling stuffy. Oh my God, guys. Going outside is actually crazy. Sit down. I was walking here for a while. I just wanted him to shake off the hair that they cut off of him. And literally... Zulzi arrived. Like, that was quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, Kenzo, I want to see the same way you're drinking that water, babes. I want to be there as well. I'm so thirsty. That was so quick. Groceries delivered in 15 minutes from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, Nigel, they finish at five. Let me take this pig. I'll see if I use it in my thumbnail. Just as you vlog, take pictures of everything. You never know if you're going to miss like one picture or 
two pictures or whatever of your thumbnail so yeah zulzi arrived guys this is quicker than dash delivery it says yeah it says here in the front groceries delivered in 15 minutes from 6 a.m to 10 p.m they i also like the fact that they've got juices that i don't ever see at woolworths because woolworths carries their own brand um this is like the juices that you find that you can pay and stuff like that i think the only way this is making logical sense to me is if zulzi themselves have like a grocery store that they deliver from right because going to like you know how with checker 6060 the driver has to go pick up from the person that shops from you for you same thing with willie's dash like somebody shops for you and then they give the items to a delivery driver um i feel like maybe someone does shop at the zulzi i don't know i don't know it's just it was quick that's what i know like i said i want to tropica so i've got the pineapple tropica two liters baby and then i wanted apple juice so this is really good apple juice i like this clover brand one but it looks a little doesn't look it doesn't look brown like it doesn't look the way that apple juice normally looks and let me pour myself a glass i think i'm gonna start with tropica or should i start with apple juice Hmm. This is actually a very tough decision. Let me start with apple juice. Anyway, guys, I think now I'm just going to chill. Honestly, there's nothing on the agenda for me. The only thing that I need to, need to, need to do is edit the last two days. I have been ignoring what's on my floor. <laughs> I just want a straw. Um, I've been ignoring what's on my floor, but I should probably just unbox for you guys, ne? But the thing is, I'm thinking about making a separate video for the lounge. Remember I told you guys in the last vlog that I'm getting on my Zoom? So yeah, I got pillow inserts. Like, when it comes to this lounge, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to finish her up. I got pillows. This is all from Superbalist. And yeah... I'll show you guys in the official video at this point. Let's go to the lounge. I want to watch this twice as bold series that I've been watching. I finished a couple more episodes. It only has 13 episodes and only one season. I just, you know what? At the end of the day, guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think? As a woman, right? If you are a woman watching this, as a woman, I don't, I don't want to make this like battle of the traumas, but what do you guys think? Do you think that daddy issues or mommy issues are worse in women? Like when women have daddy issues versus when women have mommy issues? Because I feel like, okay, for me, when I look at um, when men have daddy issues, and when men have mommy issues, I feel like mommy issues in men is a bit scarier. Like, I, I, I don't even want it to be like, oh, you can't compare. It, I know that you can't compare. And it turns people different. Like, it makes, it, it turns out differently for different people. But when men have mommy issues, they are scary, quite frankly. But in women, I think it's the same. <laughs> I genuinely think it's the same because, because honestly, if you watch this show, they definitely have a mother wound, like 100%. Like you don't even have to question that. And now they're in, in, I'm watching right now, they're in a process of forgiving. They went to counseling with her. I won't lie, the jump between what she said about like the marriage and whatever and then them just forgiving her it 
it's a bit dis it's a bit disconnected for me. I think they just made the decision to just leave it, and I get it. Honestly, I honestly get it because at a certain point you have to realize whether or not you've got a mommy or a daddy wound. As a grown person, as a grown adult, you have to realize that you can't change people and you also can't correct what people did or didn't do so making peace with that i think is what happened i think they just decided that you know what let's just leave her like at this point let's just be grand let's leave her let's hang out if she doesn't want to hang out let's not hang out like i think that's where they are right now and i think they've got bigger fish to fry honestly i think they've got bigger things happening in their life uh, that need their attention so I can appreciate that but I still want to know like what you guys think about when women have a mother wound I don't know why for me mother wounds in both sexes mother wounds give me like you can become a serial killer I'm not gonna lie like it gives you can become a serial killer. Scurry. Kenzo, do you want to show us your haircut? They ended up trimming him just a little bit, which I can appreciate, but they didn't trim around his mouth. I d oh, he was drinking water. He was drinking water. Yo, his hair, he's got clean hair. He was drinking water. His beard is wet. Let me see him. Kenzo. Oh no, mommy. Oh no, mommy. Kenzo, what come here, huh? Kenzo, what come here, huh? So, it is what it is. <laughs> He's fresh. He's looking fresh. So, he doesn't want you guys to cramp his style, Kelly. Renew, you 